Well, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Linda Saunders Paquette, and I have the privilege of serving as the president and CEO of New Futures. At New Futures, my colleagues and I work passionately each and every day to improve the health and wellness of all Granite Staters. And I want to say thank you to my staff, many of whom are here today. Thank you for your talent. Thank you for your commitment each and every day to this work. For the past 20 years, the primary focus of our work has been to prevent and reduce the harm caused by substance misuse in New Hampshire by educating policymakers on best practices in the prevention and treatment of substance use disorders and using the power of grassroots advocacy to influence public policy. We have been able to do this work thanks to a very generous gift to the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation from Oliver Hubbard. Thanks to Oliver's gift, a commitment to bipartisanship, partnerships with other nonprofits, government agencies, and the business sector, the support of philanthropy, and most importantly, New Futures trained citizen advocates, we have achieved some remarkable policy goals. One of the most important policy goals we achieved together was the 2014 expansion of Medicaid in New Hampshire, creating a program known as the New Hampshire Health Protection Program. New Hampshire was able to reach agreement on a uniquely New Hampshire approach to Medicaid expansion thanks to the bipartisan effort led by former Governor Maggie Hassan and by Senate Majority Leader Jeb Bradley. Since its inception, the New Hampshire Health Protection Program has provided health care coverage for over 100,000 New Hampshire citizens, including over 11,000 Granite Staters who have been able to access substance use disorder treatment through the program. The New Hampshire Health Protection Program is the cornerstone of our fight against New Hampshire's devastating opioid epidemic, which claimed nearly 500 lives from overdoses in 2016. The New Hampshire Health Protection Program is also critical in reducing the costs associated with substance misuse in New Hampshire. According to the recent economic report issued by New Futures, Substance misuse cost the state of New Hampshire $2.3 billion in 2014, with the vast majority of those costs borne by businesses in the form of lost worker productivity. New Futures advocacy on policies that prevent and reduce substance misuse in New Hampshire is fueled by the inspiring people who are able to access needed treatment, recover from the disease of addiction, and give back to their communities in amazing ways. I am honored to introduce you to one of those inspiring people, my dear friend, Ashley Herto, who thanks to the New Hampshire Health Protection Program, was able to reclaim her life and give hope to so many others suffering from addiction. When you hear Ashley's story, I have no doubt that you too will be inspired. My name is Ashley Herdo and I have a substance use disorder. I was in and out of jail over the past decade and when I was actively using, I lost my job, I lost my apartment, I lost custody of my kid, and I lost my husband due to an overdose from his own battle from substance use disorder. After I lost my husband in custody of my child, I lost my entire soul. I had nothing left to lose but my own life, and at one point I was okay with that. I went to jail for the last time on December 27, 2015, and they helped me enroll in Medicaid so that I could get into treatment. I ended up pleading into the Stratford County Drug Court, which is an alternative sentencing intensive outpatient program where I attended group therapy and one-on-one -on -one counseling. Because I had access to Medicaid, I got the opportunity to turn my life around. 
I sobered up, got some clarity, and something clicked. I decided to take all my pain, all my loss, and all my suffering and apply it to life. Having insurance gave me the opportunity to get well. Without that, I never would have made it, and that's not up for debate. There is so much more opportunity out there for people to get help if they have insurance rather than if they don't. I was on Medicaid for one year, but when I was 11 months sober, I started working at Safe Harbor Recovery Center as the volunteer and program coordinator and was able to come off Medicaid because I now buy my own insurance through my employer. I have become a huge advocate for keeping Medicaid expansion, which ended up landing me in D.C. at the double session of Congress with Senator Hassan, and is something that I will continue speaking publicly about and advocating for. Because I got treatment, I was able to truly start over from scratch and become, an, and become the woman that I am standing here today. Today I am determined, I am hardworking, I am reliable, I am accountable, I am a mom, I am alive. And today I'm present, which brings me to this. Presently, I began the transition of getting full custody of my son back again, and we just moved into a new house where Brody has his own room and a big yard to play in. It's truly a beautiful thing and a feeling so big that I'm still taking it all in. Because I got help and because I had insurance, I had the opportunity to become the strong woman that I am today, who now helps others get well and who is now a mom to her little boy. Somebody asked me what I hoped for the other day, and shortly after responding, I realized that my biggest hope was also my biggest fear. I hope that I can take this strong, independent, sober woman and lifestyle that I've created and successfully mesh it with motherhood, because I don't have one heart to protect anymore, I have two. And my fear only exists because I've never been all of these things at once, but the difference this time is that today, I believe that I can. The key for me to getting well and the key for me to becoming the person I am today all stems down to insurance. It really is that black and white. And if one thing holds truth, it's the saying, talent is universal, opportunity is not, which leads me to end with this. Because I got the opportunity to get well, I've gone from homeless to living in a home. I've gone from losing custody of my son to almost getting full custody back. I've gone from an inmate to in two weeks starting a new position with regional access point services as a RAP specialist, which is a continuum of care navigator, and my role is to integrate our program into the corrections, drug courts, and justice system in all of New Hampshire. But most importantly, I've gone from knocking on death's door to celebrating a huge milestone right here, right now, which is that I'm 17 months sober today. So thank you all for listening and being here to celebrate this huge accomplishment with me. Thank you.